The UNICEF delegation encouraged the Budget Committee to boost the funding for children because they make up the largest percentage of the country's population when they presented their views on the budget for the fiscal years 2023-2024. Munil Safildin, the head of UNICEF in Uganda, claims that for a very long time the budgetary allocations for children has been exceedingly low, rarely amounting to more than 1% of the average budget, which has had an impact on their performance in school and other areas of life such as the labor force. What we, when we come to you, we ask you to bridge the gap. We know something is there, but for everyone to reach quality health, we need to bridge the gap. Population growth is a major concern in Uganda. And definitely it is something that relates to primary health care. The awareness can be created at the level of the community uh, uh, through the uh, you know, village health uh, teams, through village health committees, and through the primary health care providers. We fully agree with that. And we do believe that unless the population growth is reduced, the demand for education will continue to exceed the resources. The demand for health care will continue to exceed resources. And later on, the demand for jobs will, will continue to exceed the resources. So we fully agree with that. On the other hand, the Budget Committee has informed UNICEF officials that while it is true that funding for children's nutrition, social protection and other needs has been scarce, other areas that are equally important to children's productivity have received priorities such as security and infrastructure. But I want to tell you that you are looking at direct investments in the issues you've raised. And I agree with you, we need to up them. But you must also look at the other social investments that government has made that directly contribute to child protection. For example, the investments in security. A child who is in, a, in, a, in a, an insecure country cannot sleep. So investments in security Investments in water, electricity, um, education, all these indirectly actually contribute to the well-being of social and child protection. Uh, we are cognizant of the fact that you know, interventions in these areas will go a long way to have a productive population. But also, at the back of our minds, we know the constraint with our resources. And therefore, like we always say, you cut your cord according to the growth you have. We try to maneuver around what is available. For example, it is important that we address the issue of the village health teams in order to curtail or have primary health care at the village level. The legislators challenged UNICEF officials with explaining why the donor's contribution has decreased in recent years as this would help facilitate sectors such as nutrition and social protection. Uh, I would like to hear more the kind of support you have been giving uh, in terms of budget support and of budget support, the relationship in terms of percentages. Because we have also been observing as well, a member observed that both budget and off-budget support among development partners are declining. Uh, and what is the cause of that? Regarding donor funding, UNICEF has advised government to step up the fight against corruption because it is the cause of the withdrawal of many donors which began as early as 2014. Of the government, reduce some of the corruption, and budget support will become a more likely mechanism. And we are pleading with donors for this, especially for PHC. But we must have enough faith in the budgeting process, less corruption, and then we will be able to, to advocate, even at our level, because we advocate with the bilateral partners that this own budget support will become more available. But even if it's not, they, we have what they call the virtual pool where we know what all donors are putting into the envelope. And for most donors, it is for procurement of drugs and commodities in the health sector. The, the Budget Committee is concluding its review on the budget for the next financial year, which is expected to be discussed by the August House tomorrow and passed. The budget for the financial year 2023-2024 is over 52 trillion shillings, with budget cuts of 80% across all sectors. Samlanifa. Smart 24 TV Business Today.